Taylor, thanks for taking the time. How do you see yourself fitting into this 2020 Yankees roster? Um, kind of the same as always um, in previous years. Is a guy that can fill in different diff different roles in different positions and uh, give guys, guys much needed days off, especially now when our bodies aren't really um, up to date where we are in the season. So I, I figure this year is more of a bigger role than it would, um, especially last year. How much do you think your speed could play a part in everything, especially considering that new extra innings rule? Oh, huge. Um, I feel like small ball is going to be – um, a big facet in our game this year. Hopefully we don't have to implement those rules and the extra innings too much. But uh, if we do, then I feel pretty confident that um, we're going to come out on top for sure. How much pride do you take in that part of your game? Just the, the speed aspect, being able to steal some bags? Huge, just because I'm not going to hit 50 homers. And I think, um, especially in playoff baseball, base running is going to win you games um, moving up 90 feet. So I, I take huge pride in that. Thank you. Of course. We can take the next question from John Schwartz. John, Daddy. go ahead. Hey, Tyler, how are you? Um, hey, John. You're someone who, you know, you've kind of worked a lot of different positions and kind of trained yourself in this as you were going. When you watch what Miguel is doing right now, uh, how impressed are you and what have you seen so far? Say that one more time. I couldn't really hear you. Sorry, I apologize. When, when you look at the way Miguel and Duhar is training himself in those different positions right now, um, you know, what do you see that's familiar to you and how do you feel like that process is going? His work ethic. I just feel like every single day. He was in Tampa with me this whole time in quarantine. I feel like every single day um, he was out there grinding his butt off at different positions. And, and third base, is, he's made tremendous strides. Um, asking me questions, what I what I did to get comfortable in the outfield or on the different side of the diamond because he's moving to first base and getting reps over there. So uh, just him asking questions and just just watching him go about his business every day. And he's, he's taking it as serious as anyone is. Take the next question from George King. George, go ahead and unmute. Tyler, how are you? Hey, George, how you doing? Good, good. You know, we're close, getting closer to opening day, and DJ's not here. Um, are you preparing to be the second baseman, or are you? Are you how are you preparing in, in that situation? I'm, pre I'm preparing every day, like I'm going to play every day, um, whether it's short, second, wherever it's going to be. Um, unfortunately, DJ is not here, um, so there is a vacancy. But, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting my reps over all over the infield, all over the outfield. Um, just like, like kind of I told Meredith, wherever they need me um, in previous years, I'm taking that same mindset into this year. But, uh, yeah, I mean, not right now, uh, I'm preparing to play every day and whatever they need me to do. Thank you. Yes, sir. Next question comes from Marley Rivera. Marley, go ahead and unmute. Marley, we can't hear you. It's going to for a second. Um, Tyler, during this process, what has been the hardest thing of all the protocols to deal with, you know, to get used to? Um, that's a good question. Uh, the hardest thing to get you, I, I would feel getting comfortable uh, with the mask on and just kind of um, being self-conscious of like wherever you go, just to make sure you have that around your mouth, just because it's not about, it's about, not about you. Well, it is about you, but it's also around the people around you. Um, just because it's, it's so new to us, you kind of just, you kind of forget about it sometimes. So that's why I kind of have this around my neck, just to always have it with me. Um, but yeah, I, f I feel like that's the toughest part. Um, the testing has been super easy, um, but I would just say remembering to have your face covered when you're walking in and out of places and, and washing your hands and stuff like that. Sweeney Murdy, you have the next question. You can go ahead and unmute. Tyler, how you doing? Good to see you. As, as the layoff went on and you knew that the season was going to be short, I mean, you mentioned how important your role could be, especially given the shorter season. As that layoff continued and you kind of knew what the season was possibly going to look like, did you do anything differently as far as what you were working on, maybe trying to get a more consistent hitting approach or working in different places in the field? Was there anything else specifically that you were working on differently? No. Um, fortunately, I was in Tampa enough just to get – I was basically doing spring training stuff, just minus the games and everything. So I was, I was preparing myself like we were going to start up that very next week. So um, – for me, I'm hitting the ground running. Obviously, I wasn't running as much. My, my games aren't – my legs aren't game ready. But uh, I was preparing every day like we were going to go that following week. So, for me, nothing's really changed. 
of course. Eric Boland, you have the next question. Go ahead and unmute. Hey, Tyler, thanks for, thanks for coming in today. What do you think a 60 game season is going to feel like? You guys are obviously used to playing, you know, every day and whatever level, you know, 100, 120, 140, 162 games in the majors. What do you think a 60 game season is going to feel like? That's a tough one. Um, I haven't played a really a 60 game schedule other than my first year in the GCL. Um, I just feel like it's just going to be super competitive. Um, every game is going to matter. Uh, and I don't, it's going to be a sprint. I mean, you got to, you got to, um, everyone's got a chance now. So I think you got to be more locked in for three months um, and not, especially now, don't take any days off. Thanks, Tyler. Mm -hmm. Meredith, do you have a follow-up? Meredith, you can unmute. Hey, Tyler, you just made the comment a little while ago that Miguel Andujar has really made a ton of strides at third base. What, do you, what makes you say that? What have you seen from him at third that tells you he's better there than he had been in the past? Just his consistency. I mean, you can just see it just from – I had to learn third base. Um, so just just watching the fundamentals, what he was doing every single day and the consistency of his work, um, it's, just, it's just night and day for me. Just looking at him and the way he goes about his business, um, it's been great, and I feel like he's in a really good spot. 